under the topic heading file system we are going to discuss i node the full form of i node is index node in case of unix file system with each and every file system one i node will remain connected i node is nothing but one data structure which will having one header containing plenty such information and some fields are there 13 fields are there which will be containing some direct single indirect double indirect and triple indirect block addresses so what are the different fields are there existing in the header part of part of the i node let me discuss it one by one i node header contains the owner's identification that means each and every file system must have some owner initially who will be the creator of the file system will be the owner of the file system and later also the ownership can be changed so the owner's unique identification will be kept as one of the information in the i node header owner's group identification in unix operating system we at first create groups and under groups we create multiple users each and every group will have its own dedicated unique group identification so that information will be also kept in the header part of the i node protection bits each and every file system should have some protection bits whether it will it will tell that whether we can do read or write or execute or you cannot do read write or execute that information will be kept and these protection bits will be kept in the header part of the i node physical disk address to access the file content so i node will be having related with some file system the file system will have some contents and this contents will be kept in some secondary storage so from which track sector cylinder from which physical coordinate the file system will be existing in the secondary storage that will be maintained mentioned in the physical disk address to access the content of the file system the file size that is the total file size time of creation so from from very word it is quite common that it will hold the date and time of creation time of last use of the file so what is the last time and date when this file has been used that will be kept in the header time of last modification to the file that means if you have changed some content of the file then the last time for the modification of the file will be kept in the i node header the last modification to the i node of the file so here the last modification to the content of the file here the last modification to the i node of the file and the respective time will be kept in the i node what is the what is the meaning of this modification to the i node let us suppose i am going to change the protection bits let us suppose i am going to change the user ownership of that particular file system user identification number then obviously the file content is not getting changed but the i node is getting changed number of links to the file in our laptops in our desktops we used to have some shortcuts on our desktop if you click on the shortcut then the respective application will get open and can get run in case of unix operating system also a file can have different links from different paths so that the file can be accessed through those paths and number of links will be kept in the i node header whether the file is a directory ordinary file or character special file or a block special file or a pipe that identification that corresponding indication will be kept in the i node header a file can be ordinary file that means a character file in case of unix operating system all the io devices will be mapped rather i should use the technical term will be mounted on a file system all the io devices can be categorized into two heads one is the block special file and another one is the character special file mouse and printers are the good example of character special peripheral device if you if you just move one mouse or if you click a mouse then mouse will return one byte of information or streams of bytes of information to the computer that's why mouse is communicable through bytes characters in case of a hard disk in case of hard disk can i read a single byte no i am supposed to read a block known as the allocation unit can i write can i put a single byte in the hard disk so that only the byte amount of space will be reserved no 
it will occupy a chunk of bytes for the operation. So, that is why your disk is a block peripheral device. Can I print a single letter A on a piece of paper through a printer? Yes, you can do because printer is a character special file. So, depending upon the character special file or block special file, in case of Unix operating system, the file corresponding device will be interfaced through a file system in the Unix operating system. So, what is the nature of the file for which this I node is there? Is it an ordinary file or a directory or character or block special file or a pipe? Pipe is nothing but a file which will take some inputs and which will produce some outputs. So, it will take some inputs and then it will redirect it to the output. So, there are the pipes are there, pipes are the files, some pipe files are there. So, it will indicate whether what is the type of the file to which it is pointing. Inode is having a data structure like this. It is having 13 fields as the field number is starting from 0. So, I am having here 12. So, it is having 13 fields. First 10 fields 0 to 9 will have the direct block address. So, these are the blocks which will be containing data that is the files content and these particular pointers will be pointing to those blocks. The 11 field will be containing the indirect block address that means it will be pointing to a block which is nothing but index and they will be pointing to the respective physical blocks. And the 12 field will be containing the double indirect that means it will be pointing to a block this block is not containing data, it is an index block, it will be pointing to other blocks, they are also not containing data, they are the index blocks and from there I will be getting the physical block addresses and there the files content will be stored. And the 13th field will be having the triple indirect block address, so single is a one time index, two time index in, in indexing, three times indexing and this is the physical blocks. So, in this way the file systems are getting represented. In Unix operating system, smaller file sizes are appreciable and common. So, that is why this data structure supports to store efficiently to store small file size contents. Because if the file sizes are big enough, then I might be going for triple indirect which is a time consuming process you know. So, that is why in Unix operating system, smaller file sizes are common and that is more appreciable. So, I think you have got the idea regarding the concept of inode, what does inode header contain, what is the data structure of the inode and from this very inode some numerical problems may come in your coming exam semesters or say get exams. So, I shall be solving one problem on this particular inode numerical problem in our next videos, please watch them and thanks for watching this one.